We now know the man shot and killed by police in North Portland, and it turns out two crimes from last week led them to him. Good evening, I'm Anna Canzano. Police say they've been looking for Billy Wayne Sims for more than a week in connection with counterfeiting and a medical marijuana robbery. They say he was also behind a road rage incident in southeast Portland just hours before yesterday's shooting. We have live coverage for you tonight. Erica Nochlin is our, in our newsroom with more on what she's uncovered about him. But first, we go to Bob High in North Portland with how police tracked Sims down. Bob? Yeah, Anna, first of all, we'll give you a look at some of the signs for Billy Sims that are left here at the crash site. Police aren't confirming yet just how they tracked down the car here, though they do say it wasn't from any of the previous cases Billy Wayne Sims was tied to. Instead, it was information developed after a road raid shooting incident at Southeast 122nd and Division around 1230 yesterday. That led them to the suspect's car here less than an hour later. Take a look at the scene. The people who live in the apartment that was hit shared these pictures of the damage inside. Their kitchen destroyed, tables knocked down, damage everywhere. I had just got up. I was getting ready to come outside, and next thing I know, I hear like four or five gunshots. And then next thing you know, it felt like it was having an earthquake. Mika Curry lives right next door. She's glad her neighbors weren't home when the building got hit. If the car had made it through a second wall, it would have ended up in her apartment. I'm like real shaken up still about the whole situation. Yeah. It's like I got two kids there, so like what if something would happen to my kids? You know, it's just, it's crazy. Even now, it's hard to make sense of. Right, because we don't have any answers. Nobody told us nothing. Several witnesses to the officer involved shooting say the vehicle that crashed was a rental car, which may explain why police were able to find it within an hour of the road rage incident. Some rental car companies can track their vehicles through onboard GPS devices. It was kind of a surreal, scary moment, uh, primarily because there was no warning. John Slaughter watched from across the street as police walked up to the car, and while one man surrendered, another jumped in, started the car, backed up, and tried to leave when officers opened fire. To tell you the truth, it happened really, really fast. And so uh, two different sets of shootings and um, of shots from police officers in. Like I said, it was, it was just way too fast. There should have been more communication to the public and maybe even to the gentleman in the car as well, too. Police have obtained a surveillance video from the 7-Eleven across the street here where that shooting happened. In the meantime, police also tell us they have recovered a gun from the car that Sims was driving that crashed here. Live in North Portland, Bob High, K2 News. Bob, thank you.